Before smartphones, iPads, and flat screens, children had to rely on more analog ways to entertain themselves. It's going to be knots in your hair. What have you been doing? And the 90s sure did produce some gems. Oh, man, you guys have the sunflower, Barbie? I feel like I'm in heaven right now. This is like every child's dream. What was it about the 90s that made toys in that generation so memorable? Well, coming into the 1990s, almost every toy was connected to a cartoon or a TV show. I made my family disappear. That's the trouble. They never sound like they're supposed to. Also, electronics began to be integrated into toys. Get ready for the shake. <laughs> it gave the chance to have interaction with the toys. The toys could talk back to you. Furbies. Furbies were the rage. The NSA banned them from their headquarters. They were afraid that they were going to be able to record stuff in the building, so Furbies were banned. Are there any 90s toys that are highly collectible? Well, there are Tamagotchis that go for six, $700. Is that a Technodrome? It is. No, it's not. It is. This is all Ninja Turtles? Yep, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles hit $100, $125. Oh my god, you got a blimp? How badass is that? Say hello to my little friend. You absolutely blow me away with your collection here. However, I have not seen a Cabbage Patch Kid. Unfortunately, we sold our last Cabbage Patch Kid a couple ah! of months ago. However, I will let you in on a little toy shop secret. Okay. There okay. is a place that you can go where you can adopt your very own Cabbage Patch Kid. Good luck on your quest. Thank you. I am on the outskirts of Atlanta, Georgia. We have just pulled in to Babyland General Hospital, home of the Cabbage Patch Kids. I mean, this place is insane. Welcome to Babyland General Hospital. It's a lot of babies. We have lots of licensed patch doctors, licensed patch nurses. They feed them, they care for them. You'll see nurseries, you'll see kids being born. You'll find school rooms, everything. Cabbage Patch Kids were introduced in 1983 by businessman and artist Xavier Roberts. Bruce Ashley, he was actually on the cover of the Wall Street Journal. Having started off as hand-stitched creations, Mildred actually readopted for $20,000. Wow. By the 90s, they developed even more personality through individualized character traits, becoming the babies we know and love today. This is the Cabbage Patch Olympic kid from 1996. They became the official mascots of the Olympic teams, meeting the athletes and welcoming them to Georgia. So they were huge. Cabbage Patch kids may have had their big moment in the 90s, but I'm about to have mine right now. Please head over to Mother Cabbage because I am going to deliver my first Cabbage Patch baby. Yes, you heard it right. Beneath the branches of the magic crystal tree, Mother Cabbage is in labor with my firstborn. Time for Dr. Bananas to leap into action. Now we're gonna measure uh, the dilation and we are at, we're at a full 10 leaves, ladies and gentlemen. The baby I'm delivering now is essentially the fruit of my loins, which is, is quite terrifying. I'm gonna give the baby a little TLC. Who knows what TLC stands for? Tender loving care. I thought it was t boss left eye and chili. The band, it's big in the 90s, no? Just me? All right. I've had the luxury of living a very free life, and now I am taking the giant leap into fatherhood. Oh. He's all right. He got a little queasy. Sorry. Now, we're gonna push. One, two, three. Push! Couldn't hear you, you need to be a little bit louder. Push! Ah! It's got me! Let go! Ah! Push! Push! Hot! Woo! It's a baby boy! Good looks must run in the family. My mom is gonna be so happy. Very good. good. Today is the first day of the rest of my life. You guys ever seen such a cute thing in your whole lives? <laughs> Today I got to live out a childhood dream, and that is play with a Cabbage Patch Kid with no judgment. What's your baby's name? The 90s, hands down, were the best generation for toys. This generation is going to be the best generation for fatherhood. Accommodations for first look provided by The Whitley, a luxury collection hotel in Atlanta, Buckhead. Go to thewhitleyhotel.com to book your next visit.